Okay, next, punta tayo dun sa application ng wind load naman. So, we're done with dead load, live load. Yung pangatlong category is wind naman. So, ibalik natin yung view natin, yung display sa whole section or a whole structure. So, sa wind load, you can manually create or solve for yung mga pressure. So, balikan natin yung discussion natin regarding wind load definitions sa uh, na pre-novel ng NSCP. Um, so, sa NSCP pala, no? so, pag tinignan natin yung mga procedure na binigay sa atin. Ayan, so, ito yung mga procedure. We're given two categories ng type ng structure. We're in yung loading natin is applied. So, pwedeng MWFRS, mainframe yan. And then, yung CNC is mga cladding. Um, for yung structure natin, you can either use yung dalawa. Depende sa part ng structure. So, yung roofing, you can actually consider CNC. Um, but for yung purposes natin, yung sa example natin, we will use MWFRS for yung entire structure natin. Ito yung pagtutunan natin ng pansin. Now, if you're going to use this one, kailangan natin gamitin yung all heights. Kasi yun yung available sa software na ginagamit natin. So, in order to use yung provision ng code natin, ang gagawin natin is uh, pupunta tayo sa wind definition, add tayo. Okay? Remember na ang wind definition natin um, sa discussions uh, regarding sa wind definition is that uh, we must categorize yung loading natin into different Mm. different categories or should I say um, portion ng building na kung saan i-apply natin yung loading okay. so quick recap lang na let's say meron tayong building and then yung load natin or yung wind natin is assumed to be um Moving in this direction, may mga parts tayo ng structure natin na affected by yung effect ng wind. So, meron tayo ng harap mismo. Yung front part. And then, meron tayo ng mga side. Ayan. So, may side din tayo dun sa kabila. And then, yung sa likod. So, iba-iba yung magiging loading nila. But of course, ang pinakamalaki dito is yung direct application. I mean, commonly, kasi sometimes pwedeng baliktad. Uh, commonly, yung pinakamalaki yung effect will be yung sa front. And then, meron tayong different applications para sa side and then sa may likod. Ang tawag natin dito uh, sa front is yung windward loading natin. Ito naman is sidewall. And then, ito naman is yung um, leeward. Leeward wall. Windward. Okay? So, yan yung mga portion ng structure natin. That's why, sa definition natin, kailangan natin i-consider yung tatlong yun. So, may wind definition natin. Also, if ang pinag-usapan is uh, loading, meron tayong dalawang direction. No? So, I mean, we can also consider other orthogonal directions katulad ng dito tatama yung wind. Pero kumali, ang kinoconsider natin for basic structure is yung dalawang lateral direction. So, it's either X or Z. So, kung tatlo yung faces plus direction times 2, uh, that will be 6 all in all. So, yung comment ko for yung number 1, type number 1 is windward x positive or I can just say plus kasi symmetrical naman left I mean on on one axis yung ating structure so it doesn't matter kung babalik ta rin natin yung direction later on let me just call this one wx wwx but commonly kapag irregular yung structure dapat kinoconsider din natin yung reversal nya like pag may negative ka or positive 
Like I said, yung structure natin is symmetrical. Add lang tayo. And then, W, uh, side wall. Side wall, X. And then, uh, leeward wall, X. Yan. Pansin natin na, ah, I have skipped yung Z direction. Papakita ko na lang mamaya kung paano natin ayusin. So, sa windward muna tayo. Add tayo ng... Uh, I-click natin sa type 1 and then press add para lumabas yung option na to. You have two inputs right here. Intensity at exposure. Lalagyan natin to dalawa. Yung dalawa. Punahin muna natin yung intensity. So, you have an option to select your type. Yan, kung anong algorithm yung gagamitin ng software para i-compute yung uh, loading. But, for our purposes, ang gagamitin natin is yung calculate as per ASC E7. So, ito yung gagamitin natin kasi ito yung reference din ng NSCP. So, yan, we have three in input, main input uh, category, common, uh, main building data, and then um, building design pressure. So, pag-usapan natin yung mga inputs natin dito. So, number one is yung code reference. Um, as far as yung ginagamit natin na uh, reference, it's 2010, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yung reference ng NSCP. ASCE 2010 or it might even be lower. Pero, halos walang pinagkaiba yung yung dalawa. So, might as well use yung 2010 na lang. Okay? And then, yung category natin will be coming from yung sa code. Kailangan natin kunin yung category ng structure. That would be occupancy category. So, ano siya? Um, tignan natin. So, pag number 1, ano bang sabi dun sa number 1? Ayan, for essential facility... Ito naman is hazardous. Number 3 is special occupancy. Ayan. Special occupancy. However, uh, hindi siya special. So, it would fall under um, category number 4. Kasi hindi natin pwedeng i-categorize na carport, garage kasi um, ayan, although parang hanger siya um, malaki pa rin yung structure. So, we will fall under category number 4. Ayan. So, ngayon may mga additional tayo dito na characteristics na dapat i-consider or yung inputs na kailangan i-consider. So, basic wind speed will be defined by yung location ng uh, site natin. That will be coming from um, saan ba yun? Ito. To, um, figure 207-5 207A.5 pala I mean. So A, B, and then C. Ang gagamitin natin will be Category number 2 and other structures. And so basic wind speed for occupancy category number 4. So that would be uh, 207A.5-1A. Okay, so ito yung mapa. Kailangan nating identify yung location ng site. Um, well, let's just assume na nasa Baguio. So, around here ata, if I'm not mistaken. So, of course, kailangan yung i-verify through uh, Google Maps. Um, but, let's just assume na dito yung location. Yan. It's in between yung dalawang lines na to. 2, 250 at 260. Gamitin na lang natin yung mas malaki. So, basic wind speed, KPH, 260. 
exposure is uh, yung uh, pakibalikan yung definition natin for exposure under 207A.7 uh, meron tayong A until um, okay, saan ba yan? so, until uh, exposure exposure D so, just to um, hasten yung uh, mo, yung sample natin dito um, around Baguio kasi it's falling under letter B commonly majority ng area so um, might as well ex use exposure B and then yung structure natin is building structure um, it's not really a truss structure lattice framework and others uh, building talaga siya we can actually consider it as a building um Let's assume na wala tayong hill or escarpment na sa flat area tayo. So no, yung definitions ng escarpment can be found under um, ayan, 207A.8 Okay, after nyan, you'll have to click yung apply. Kailangan mo i-click yung apply followed by yung building data main building data so yung mga building data natin let's use yung tamang units total building height actually yung building height dito natin po ko is yung mean building height m uh, hm so ano ba yung total height natin for yung column 4 meters plus kalahati ng roof nasa gitna ng roof so that would be 4.5 I mean, yeah, 4 plus 1 divided by 2. So that could be 4.5 meters total height. Okay. Building length along the direction of the wind. So wait lang, hanapin natin yung notes natin para um, hindi ko ulitin yung explanation. So, ito yung notes. Example number 2. Ayan. So, L is the horizontal dimension um, parallel to the direction of the wind. So, that is parallel to yung direction ng X. Yan. So, ano ba yung parallel sa direction ng x? That would be 8. Yan. Let's just press OK for now para ma-generate yung data. I-add muna natin for now. Okay, close natin yan. So, ginawa ko yan para ma-measure ko yung dimensions ng structure ko. So, pupunta tayo dun sa utilities. Para hindi na ako nagko-compute. 21 yung lapad niya. Ito naman, 8. So, balikan natin yung intensity dito. Or, yeah, intensity. Calculate ulit natin. If you have added it directly, hindi na magbabago yung unang inputs natin. So, no need to apply kasi naka-deactivate naman. Main building data. So, ulitin natin. Oh, meters and then ilan ba yun? 4.5. Um, yung parallel dito sa x kasi nasa x tayo that's 8 and then eto naman is 21 yung perpendicular normal to the direction of the wind okay natural frequency um, we can actually assume yung default dito pero um, tignan natin sa notes so that uh, Mm. Yeah, so ito yung computation ng frequency. This is for yung calculation ng G. So, 
balik tayo dito. Building natural frequency. Meron tayong, merong binigay na um, approximate na methodology uh, that would be NA uh, which is equal to 22.2 divided by HM raised to 0.8. So, kapag i-calculate natin yung requirement natin, 2.8, 2.2 divided by uh, ano ba yung height natin? 4.5 mean height raised to 0.8. 6.664 or 6.665 6.665 Yeah. Building damping ratio can be calculated through uh, initial um, analysis. Pwede nating um, i-calculate through staad din lang. However, medyo matagal kasi yung process niyan. So, yung scope natin is uh, purely on sa skill design. So, um, you can search through the internet. Pwede tayo mag-search ng mga basic na mga dumping ratio na ginagamit. Uh, yung mga ranges. But for now, let me just use 0 0.01 for my example. Yung structure natin, let's just assume now, fully enclosed. Fully enclosed yung structure. After nyan, you, you press apply. Ah, uh, sorry. It should be meters. Meters. Lead natin. Okay. Building design pressure. Nasa windward tayo. So, windward dapat siya. No need to modify any of this. So, automatic na yan. Press OK. Yes. Modify. Then, balik tayo sa WWX. Mag-add tayo ng intensity. Uh, ng exposure. So, exposure, number one. Normally, yung ginagawa natin is, ina-apply natin uh, sa talagang exposed na area. So, ang... Um, Mahirap kasi yung ganun. So, I'll just assume na sa buong structure ko i-apply yung exposure. Now, of course, tignan mo mong maigi kung may naka-embed naman. May naka-embed ka na part ng structure mo. Should not include it on the calculate dun sa exposure. Okay, what else? I guess yun lamang. Yung part ng SWX, may uulit-ulitin kasi natin yan. So, instead of Doing it manually, pupunta ko dun sa command file. And I'm, I'll, I'll cheat a little bit dun sa ating um, inputs. Ayan. So, I'll just copy the entire portion, yung portion na to. Kasama yung intensity. Intensity, tapos yung naka-green. Kukopihin ko yan. And then, or rather from yung exposure pala, exposure, eto. I'll get the entire thing right here, kasama yung exposure. Ilalagay ko dun sa ilalim, type 2, pati dun sa type 3. By doing that, and then save lang natin, no? uh, make sure na tama yung copy-pasting natin. By doing that, hindi ko na kailangan uulitin yung mga inputs ko. So, what I mean is, pag bumalik ako dun sa definition, meron ng data dun sa SWX and LWX. All I need to do is, palitan ko yung intensity. So, i-double click ko dun sa intensity or i-edit ko. And then, calculate ulit. Building data, ang papalitan natin dito will be yung building design pressure. So, for sidewall, dapat sidewall yung gagamitin. Apply. Okay. Yes. Modify. Close. Ganun din dun sa my leeward. Double click dun sa intensity. Calculate. Diretso dun sa building design pressure. Leeward. Apply. Okay. Yes. Modify. Close. And yun na yun. You're done with yung direction X. 
So mm-hmm. hindi na natin problemahin ma- na mag um, na mag-edit pa or mag-input pa ng mga in uh, different data kasi kung babalikan natin 'to, yung data natin ng common pare-parehas pa rin. Yung bil- yung data natin ng uh, building data, same pa rin. No, paano naman dun sa direction Z? So sa direction Z po, balik tayo dun sa command file. Punta tayo sa may wind. And what I'll do is copy wind load number 1. So yung 1 muna, type number 1. Pupunta ako sa pinakababa under type 3. Okay, type 3. So ito yung ending ng type 3. Remember that. So exposure. So Um, after nyan is type 4 naman. Ngayon, papalitan natin yung pangalan WXZ. Z or Z. Okay, let me just add some spaces pa para maayos. For now, yan muna. Kasi ang gagawin natin, pupunta ulit tayo sa definition. So instead of manually providing yung data, mas maganda yung ganito. Copy-pasting lang. And then, intensity ulit, and then ngayon, i-calculate natin. Common data will still be the same. However, dun sa, kas- sa main building data kasi natin, kailangan natin i-consider na yung L tsaka B mag- magre-reverse yan. So, ano, ano na ngayon ang magiging parallel doon sa direction Z? That would be yung 21. Tapos yung parallel dun sa may direction B, I am in mean perpendicular pala. That would be 8. Right? So, apply natin yan. Uh, windward pa rin siya. So, walang problem dyan. Okay. And then, yes. Modify. And then, balik ulit ako dun sa command file to create the additional um, sidewall tsaka leeward ng aking Um, nung aking structure along the Z direction. So, type 4. So, under type 4, ang hanggang sa may exposure. Ayan. So, hanggang sa exposure. So, I'm not sure why this one is highlighted as green. Ah, never mind. Yan, type 5. Type 5, so ano ba yung order natin? Sidewall. Sidewall, Z. And then, type 6. Leeward wall, Z. Z. Again, balik, balik ulit tayo sa definition. Wind. Palitan natin yung intensity calculation ng sidewall. Building pressure sidewall. Apply OK. Yes. Modify. For yung leeward, ganun din. Intensity, edit. Calculate building design pressure. Leeward wall. Apply OK. Yes. And then modify. And with that, you're done with yung uh, application natin ng loading. Okay. So, ngayon, ang kulang na lang is i-apply natin siya sa load case. So, doon tayo sa load case natin. Add tayo ng load case. Primary wind load X. WL, WLX. Okay, click natin doon sa WLX and then mag-add ulit tayo ng loading under wind load. Now, you're given two options here sa bagong version ng STAD. May dynamic. Never mind. Sa so, wind load lang tayo na basic. So, idadagdag natin yung windward. Remember na along the direction of X, yung application ng load natin will be simultaneous. Nangyayari yung windward, leeward, jack sidewall. Kasi isang direction lang naman. So, minsan na natin i-apply doon sa ating structure yan along the x-direction. Same for yung sa ating 
uh, same direction. So, una is yung, uh, ayan. So, kung mapapansin nyo dito sa main types, it corresponds to yung information dito. However, hindi masyadong intuitive kasi mas maganda sana kung naka naka indicate din dito yung pangalan. Pero anyway, it matches yung naka-indicate dito. So, yung regular one is yung type 1 dito. And it follows with yung until 6. Okay, windward x. That would be windward x. Factor natin should be 1. Yan, you, you have here yung loading convention. So, i-define natin yung Y, Z, and then X ranges natin. Okay. So, yung Y, ay eh, yung X range natin will be coming from um, 0 to palit tayo ng cursor natin. From ano ba yung minimum na, minimum na X natin? 0. Maximum na X 8. So, you can actually put 0 to 8. Next, yung X, uh, Z range natin, Z is 0 to negative 21. Balik tag, negative 21 to 0. Negative 21 to 0. Ngayon yung Y range natin, i-apply lang natin yung loading natin until this portion. So yung roofing, ibang usapan yun. So from 0 to 4 meters. I just press add. Let, let me check kung up, apply yung loading natin. So, ayan yung itsura nyo. Medyo may problem, no? May, may weird na loading dito. Well, anyway. So, it was not able to pick up yung um, configuration kasi natin dito sa may portion na to. Uh, may problem kasi doon sa ginawa natin na dami dami member anyway yung um, so yung work around nito ang gagawin natin supposed to be para maayos yung portion na to ililipat natin yung connection ng um, bracing sa doon sa joint dito sa taas para mag generate yung tamang loading but for yung purposes natin, okay lang. Maliit lang naman yung hindi nasama. Pero dapat, in, in a real scenario, dapat ayusin natin ito. So may problem dun sa bracing. Another option is, i-offset mo yung bracing mo papunta sa likod ng konti. Maliit lang. Gagamit ka ng specification dito. And then gagamit ka ng master slave or whatever. Um, although tedious yung portion na yun, uh, the, the best thing that we can do for now is to ignore yung portion na yun. Okay, so question is, paano naman sa roofing? Sa roofing naman, um, ganun din, pero hindi kasi natin pwedeng i-apply yung i-apply yung portion na to, yung wind load dito. Kasi naka-inclined. So what we'll do is, uh, pupunta tayo dun sa, de sa definition, mangungopia tayo ng value. So yung level na to, 3.6 is... Ay na, 4.5. Ibig sabihin niyan yung pressure dun sa 4.5 meters. We'll just use yung 3.61 na value. Uh, that is kilopascal yan. Yun yung applied na pressure dun sa, sa roof natin. So, pressure is uh, multi-directional. Or, I mean, wala siyang actual na direction. So, kung pressure yan, ibig sabihin, pwede natin i-apply directly dito sa roof natin. Perpendicular. Okay, so perpendicular siya. So, so paano ko gagawin yun? I'll go, uh, i-memorize natin. Ano ba yung value? 3.61. Pupunta tayo dito sa wind load. Ngayon, um, tributary area tayo yung methodology. So, ano ba yung area? Um, that would be 3.5, yung wind nito. And then, uh, so 3.61 ba? Yan, 3.61. Three point sixty one times three point five. Same process, pareinos. 
That's 12.635. Pero, remember, na pressure, wind pressure yung pinag-uusapan. Hindi siya gravity na vertical lang. Rather, it's perpendicular to the application o yung roof natin. So, add ako ng member load. So, ilalagay ko dito, negative 3.61 local y. Or, uh, Either local Y or local Z. Sometimes nagka-problema sa orientation ng member. So, as of now, let's assume na local Y siya. Titignan na lang natin sa, sa application dun sa actual kung tama nga yung local Y. Kung mali, then papalitan natin ng local Z. So, negative yung direction para pababa. Add na lang yan. And then, i-apply ko siya manually. So, use cursor. And so far, it's working properly. So, tama yung kanya. Um, kanyang direction. So, gagawin ko yan on all of my roof parts. Okay, ito yung simpler part. Actually, uh, for roof, mas maganda sanang gamitan ng, ng CNC. Mas madali. Well, anyway, I'm just doing this for convenience sake. Mas mabilis. So, ilo-load natin sa middle. And then, yung end natin, papalitan natin yung loading niya. Kalahati lang. Wait lang. It's not supposed to be 3.6. Dapat 12 point. 12.635 yan. Alright. At tayo ng isa pa para sa mga end beams. Mm. Okay, saan ako? Uh, member load, uniform, divided by 2, 6 point. Negative. Local y, at Ayan. Uh, supposed to be, consider pa natin yung mga zones natin dito. May mga zones kasi tayo. Middle zone. Um, Hanap tayo ng reference iba. Ayan. So, may mga zone din dapat tayo dito ang tinitignan. Saan ba yung example dito ng zones? Ayan. Although, hindi ito yung concern natin. Nasaan ba yun? Ayan. Mga zones ng roofing natin for yung uh, Especially yung structure natin. Pero hindi kasi masyadong malaki din yung impact. So, uh, maybe this would suffice for yung purposes natin. Alright. Next. Leeward naman. So, tapos na yung windward, leeward naman. So, wind. Leeward. Yeah, leeward. Leeward X. Okay. Uh, ano yung mga information natin? Wait lang. Ganitong gagawin na lang natin. Um, punta tayo dun sa load case number 3. Let me just use... Uh, command file editor. So, ito is type 2. Para sa windward. <clears throat> Gawin ko muna and then I'll explain later. Okay, and then, uh, yeah, uh, iayos ko lang na. Teka.
So ang ginawa ko dito, kinopya ko yung uh, windward, yung wind uh, definition natin. Ayan. So ito yung original na ginawa natin. Ito yung windward. Yung leeward is number 2. Type number 3 naman yung... Uh, type number 2 yung... Um, uh, leeward. Ito check natin mamaya. And then side wall is number 3 kung baliktad. Um, ito yung sa harap. Ito yung sa likod and then ito yung dalawang magkabilaan. So, mapapansin nyo yung linagay ko dito is negative 1 tsaka positive 1. So, let me just show you kung ano yung magiging outcome nyo. So, punta tayo dun sa my load case, wind, and then ito yung number 1. I-edit natin to. WLX. Uh, I mean, ito, number 2. Number Okay, so i-edit natin yan. Edit, palitan natin ng negative x. Modify. Close. So yung number 2 natin, it's being applied dun sa likod ng structure. So ang type natin dito is type 2. Same pa rin yung, zo yung mga mga de mga mga direction natin or I mean yung mga ranges natin. Walang pinagbago. Next. Ito naman, side wall. So, regular number 3 siya. Um, side wall negative Z. Ayan. So, positive yung factor natin dito. Positive 1. Modify. Okay, close. I'm not sure kung bakit. Ito uh, naman, yung pang-apat is negative Z. Kasi di ba ang direction natin ng wind is ayan, along the, the X. Yung sidewall kasi outwards. Pag ganyan, parang pa-side yung pull, yung suction niya. So, kung magkabilaan, dapat i-simulate natin yan by reversing yung direction. So, positive 2, negative 1. Something's wrong with yung uh, range natin ng Y. Dapat yung range natin is from yung top, yung, yung baba ng building from 0 to 5. Kasi 5 meters. Or, I mean, um, 1 meter to, right? So, kung 1 meter yan, 5 dapat. So, dapat yung Y range natin dito, that would be from 0 to 5, yung sa side wall. Kasi, yung side wall natin, meron siyang ganyan. So, kailangan natin i-consider yung arc niya or yung apex. And by doing that, yun, may loading na tayo. So, ang direction niya is Papunta rito. Ito naman, ganyan din. Negative, uh, 0 to 5 pala. Modify. And yung direction niya, papunta rito sa direction. Um, we forget, we have forgotten something else. Yung roof natin na lalagyan natin ng, ng leeward. Kasi ito yung windward. And then, kailangan nating lagyan ng leeward. So, yung leeward natin, pupunta ulit tayo sa definition. Mag Mag-copy ulit tayo ng value. Actually, may baliktad pala, no? Kasi ang sidewall natin, type number 2. And then, yung leeward natin, type number 3. So, dito, sa may loading natin, kailangan nating palitan. Um, this should be type number 3. Kasi leeward nga. Sa likod, naka-apply. Type number 3. And then, ito magiging type number 2. Ito rin type number 2 rin to. Side wall. So, side wall kasi to type number 2. And then, yung, ito naman, type number 3. Leeward. So, sa definition... 
sa may leeward, ano ba yung intensity niya? 2.463. 2.463. So, 2.463 plus I times uh, 3.5. And then, yung isa is divided by 2. So, ano ba yung mga values natin? Eight point sixty two, and then four point thirty one. Eight point sixty two, four point thirty one. So magadt ay dito sa WX. So member load. Um, ang ilalagay ko dito is eight point sixty two. Pansin nyo gagawin ko siyang positive along Y, para maging pull. Suction yung labas niya. So, add lang natin. Let me apply it on my structure so that you'll, you'll see what I mean. Okay, it's quite hard to... Ayan. So, pataas na yung kanyang application. Alright. Next is yung... Para sa mga end beams natin. 4.31 Okay. And with that, I believe yung ating wind doon sa X direction is okay na. Next, yung sa Z naman. So, medyo ayaw kong i-manual. So, pupunta ulit ako sa command file. Load case number 3, pwede kong kopyahin yung portion na to. Except yung mga member loads. Okay, palitan ko yung load number ng number 4. I'll, I'll name this one WL and Z. And then, all I need to do is reverse yung mga direction na to. And then, later on, check natin, modify natin. So, yung load natin for uh, leeward a uh, windward z leeward z and then ito yung mga side walls natin along the z direction so magiging x naman yung type natin for windward z is 4 5 and then 4 tapos ito 6 and then ito is 5 5 Yung height, mababago yan. So, tignan muna natin before we proceed. So, load case number 4. Ito dapat ang height natin is 0 to 5. Kasi ang tatamaan ng wind natin is yung side ng roof na to. I mean, kasama yung roof. Okay. However, ang direction niya. Pero bakit dito naka-apply? Positive eh, Z kasi. Anyway, parehas din lang naman. Either dito sa likod or dun sa harap. Symmetrical naman sila. So, it does not matter for yung purpose natin. Next. Yung sa may sa, uh, leeward. Ito, leeward. Regular 6. Tignan natin sa may definition. Leeward Z. Tama. Yung height natin, 0 to 5. Tignan natin yung harap ng structure kung merong loading. Yes, meron. Sidewall. Uh, I'll reduce this one to 0 to 4. So, parang ineneglect ko na lang yung apply, apply doon sa roof. 0 to 4. Yeah. You can also do it like yung ginawa natin dito sa uniform load dito. Pero for the sake of yung example natin kasi medyo napahaba na. I'll cut it here doon sa portion na to. Now, with that, we're done with yung basic na application natin ng wind load. But of course, uh, may mga skip tayo na uh, parts, which is um, applicable naman if, I mean, uh, can be easily addressed kapag alam natin yung content ng code. So, refer to kung doon sa discussion natin regarding wind loads, um, yung manual computation para ma-verify natin yung uh, difference nila doon sa software. Okay? So, that's it for yung video na to.